Let's talk about weekends. It's a Saturday and your schedule is totally random. It's likely you will sleep in and eat more often. You get up at 9 o'clock in the morning and check your glucose and eat breakfast. If you need to correct for high glucose, you dose for the glucose as well as the carbs. At 10.30 a.m. you're hungry again. You check your glucose and it's high. Can you give a correction dose for the high glucose? No, because it hasn't been three hours since your last dose of fast-acting insulin. You haven't seen the full effect of the previous insulin dose. What can you do? You can have a carb-free snack, or if you're hungry, you dose for your carbs and eat. But you don't take a correction dose for the high glucose. Let's say lunch is at noon and you're hungry again. You dose for your carbs, but no correction dose is given, even if your glucose is high, because your last dose of fast-acting insulin was less than three hours ago. Each time you dose for carbs, the three hours starts over again. Let's say at 4 p.m. you want a snack. If your glucose is high, do you give a correction dose? Yes, you can, because it's been more than three hours since your last dose of fast-acting insulin. At 5 p.m., it's time for dinner. If you had fast-acting insulin at 4 p.m. for your snack, you only dose for your carbs, and the three hours starts over again. At 8 p.m., you're at a movie and you eat popcorn. Can you give a correction dose if your glucose is high? Yes, because it's been three hours since the last dose of fast-acting insulin. At 10 p.m. you're home and ready for bed, and your glucose is high. Can you correct for the high glucose? No, because it hasn't been three hours since the last dose of fast-acting insulin. You don't need to stay up. Just set your alarm or have your parent wake you up at 11 p.m. to check your glucose, as this will be three hours from your last dose of fast-acting insulin. At 11 p.m., if your glucose is above your nighttime target, you can correct this glucose using your bedtime correction, as this has been three hours since your 8 p.m. last dose of fast-acting insulin.